Mercedes has already shown us that it can make a great electric saloon. Now this is our first chance to take a look at the firm's new large electric SUVs. This is the EQE SUV and this is the EQS SUV. And as we probably gather by their names, they're based on the highly acclaimed EQE and EQS electric saloons. In this video, I'm gonna take you around the outside of both cars and we can talk about their technology and their electric performance. And I'm gonna take you around the inside where we can talk about their practicality and luxuriousness. Let's start at the front of both cars where you can see that they share a similar smooth and clean design. Notice these black panels with the Mercedes logos at the centers instead of traditional grills. The sleek styling enhances the aerodynamic efficiency, allowing the cars to glide through the air smoothly. Impressively, the EQE SUV has a drag coefficient of just 0.25, a remarkable figure for a tall and spacious vehicle like this. If we're going to talk roominess, we need to start in the luxurious EQS SUV. Thanks to the fact that the battery lives underneath the body, the floor inside is completely flat, so you get lots of space and the kind of comfort you'd expect from a first-class aircraft cabin. Not only that, but this EQS is roomy enough to allow for an extra set of seats in the boot too. Big vehicles means room for big batteries. In the EQE SUV, you get a 90 kilowatt hour battery and that's increased to 120 kilowatt hours in the EQS SUV. Those big batteries mean a long range. You can go for up to 590 kilometers on one charge in the EQE SUV or up to 672 kilometers in the EQS SUV. That means you could leave Dublin and with a quick ferry journey, theoretically drive all the way to London and still have some battery range in reserve. If you're going to do long journeys like that, you'd be wanting the best driver assistance systems. And both the EQE and EQS have those in spades. Both cars come as standard with big 12 inch driver's instrument displays and equally large navigation and entertainment screens. You can also equip both cars with a massive hyperscreen, which stretches across the full width of the dashboard, including an extra screen in front of the passenger to ensure they don't get bored. You can choose from rear wheel drive models with a single electric motor or formatic four wheel drive models with two motors. Power outputs run from 245 horsepower for the EQE 300 all the way up to 544 horsepower for the EQS 580 formatic. Oh, and if you want something sportier, there are AMG models too. Power and performance are all well and good, but the whole point of buying an SUV is practicality. Both the EQE and the EQS SUV deliver in this regard. The EQE has a 520 litre boot when you load it up to the luggage cover, and the EQS is even larger. Fold down the third row of seats and you have a massive 645 litres of boot space. Both the EQE and EQS SUVs have high speed charging systems, which allow for a maximum rate of up to 200 kilowatts at fast DC public charging stations. So even with the big battery in the EQS, you can get from 10% charge to 80% in as little as 31 minutes. And finding a charging station when you need one has never been easier. Built into the navigation is a smart system that works out your realistic driving range, taking into account how hilly your route is and how much time you'll be spending on the motorway. It then works out when you'll need to charge and can include charging points on your route. Better still, it'll even send you to the charging station with the best price if you like, and you can work all this out on your phone before you leave home thanks to the Mercedes Me app. Driving at night has been made much easier too, thanks to the latest generation of LED digital lights. Not only do these automatically adjust for the weather, they also have a constantly adjusting high beam, which allows you to keep your full lights on without dazzling other road users. They also come with an ultra range function, which gives you a maximum range of 650 meters, keeping you much safer when the sun goes down. Safety has always been a priority for Mercedes, and nowadays that doesn't just mean airbags and crumple zones. It also means active electronic assistance to help keep you safe. So both cars come with tech that can keep you straight in your lane on a motorway, can keep you a safe distance from the car in front, and can scan the road ahead for cyclists and pedestrians and bring you to a safe emergency stop if a collision is imminent. Finally, there's towing. Lots of people buy four-wheel drive cars so that they can tow, but equally lots of people think that you can't use an electric car to tow or that you can only tow a small load. Not so with these cars. Pick the optional towing pack and not only will Mercedes fit a tow bar to the back, it'll also haul a full 3,500 kilograms. That's our overview of the two new electric Mercedes SUVs. If you like what you see, book yourself in for a test drive and experience them for yourself.